I'm at Vapor and I'm doing a voiceover because of course I went shopping with my bestie and we were just chit chatting away and I didn't really talk about the things that I was picking up. So this is a heart shaped like nesting bowl. It comes apart and it, it's like rigid and it fits really well together. I thought it was really pretty. And over here we have a leather map of Nigeria. I thought that, that was really neat. I didn't grab this but it was a cool piece. This is a Mexico souvenir piece from Disney. I know souvenir pieces don't sell too well, but I thought that this was a really cool cup. Unfortunately, when I took that tape off, the paint on the bottom did come off. So I found some uranium glass here. Unfortunately, it does have a little chip on it, but I did bring my black light, which needs a battery change. It's kind of going out on me, but look at that glow. has a great glow. I'm sad that it's chipped or else I would have brought that home with me. I wonder if it also had a lid with it. This is a bottle stopper, wine stopper. I thought that the glass design was really cool so I did grab this guy. And this is a Winnie the Pooh cookie stamp. I'm obsessed with Winnie the Pooh right now because I'm doing a punch needle rug on my other channel not posted yet but stay tuned so that was $4.99 and I actually am going to grab this guy I just sold a large cookie mold of the same brand I thought that these were cute they're beagles I think if they're not beagles please let me know <laughs> but it was a set of coasters and I don't typically see coasters like this around here so I grabbed that this piece is a clay baker it's like to bake bread. It was $5.99. And when I looked it up, it was selling for about $60. Unfortunately, when I got it home and I looked inside of it, it was very dirty and I was not able to get it clean. I thought this lamp was really cool. He was super heavy. I think he was made of chalkware. He was really banged up, so I didn't take him, but I thought he was really cool. Onto my favorite find of the day. I found some animal cat paintings, and then these two over here are actually velvet paintings. This one's a little bit damaged, but that did not stop me. There's a tiger and a lion, and they were only maybe $2.99, $3.99, I forget. So I grabbed both of these, especially since I have the wolf and the panther. I am obsessed with velvet paintings. <laughs> Alright, so I'm starting backwards today because there's me and one other person in the store today and he's in the back. So I'm going to start over here so I don't disturb him and his shopping. This is a candle. It's cute. These plates are really pretty. What are they? Stoneware made in China. What is this one? The sweet shop. Those are cute. There's a different pattern underneath it. Ooh, what is this? Nucor. I'm pretty sure that I have some cups and like a creamer, some coffee mugs and a creamer that are similar to this pattern made by the same person. Ooh, what are you? These are plastic, that's what they are. Certified International. Get some Easter stuff out. Ooh, this tray is interesting. It's got some scratching on it. Let's see. Okay, it has a signature, but it's also made in China. Not safe for microwave. <laughs> I think I'll leave that. This lamp is gorgeous. They're asking $14.99. It is hand painted. And it kind of looks like it has a signature over here. It's a little heavy for me though. I can't get it down without 
intentionally dropping it. So I think I'm gonna leave it, but that is really cool. Definitely worth more than $15. Look at this guy. $4.99. Hmm, I'm willing to ship this. Oh, more stickers that say $15.99. Okay, I am complete. Um, I think in that case, I'm, I'm gonna leave it. I don't wanna pay $15.99 for it, even if they are offering $4.99. I don't really wanna deal with the hassle of that, so. I'm going to leave it. There's a whole set of like little kid wall hangings. These are so cute. They have them priced at 99 cents a piece. So that would be $6 for all of it. And I don't think I'm willing to pay that much for the whole set, but they are cute. Ooh, look at this guy. This is really cute. $6 though. It's not signed or anything. They really want you to know it's $5.99. I think we're gonna leave that. What is this? That's cool. Hmm. It's a souvenir cup from the Bahamas. Ooh, what are you? It's a cool print. Hmm. Ooh. Is hand painted? No, that is canvas. The print on canvas. That would have been really cool if that was hand painted. So here is a pair of enamel bowls. This one is $2.99. The small one is $1.99. They look like they're in really good condition. Like their their design is not faded or chipped in any any way. The bottom is a little worse for wear, but that's to be expected. And the inside looks fairly good. Um, so I think I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get both of them. So this actually caught me by surprise. This is yet another Temptations piece. Um, and there's four mugs, three plates, and a bowl. And they're all priced at $2.99 a piece. But, I think I'm gonna get them. I think I'm gonna get them all, especially the mugs. If anything, I'm getting the mugs. I'm gonna sell them as a set for like 50 or 60 because this is quite a desirable collection, especially with Halloween coming up and them being orange, even though they have flowers on them. I think they're poppies. So I'm gonna get these. So I'm sure you know what this is. It's a Ray Dunn piece. Um, they're actually selling for about 15 on eBay. It's only four dollars, so I think I'm gonna get this. This will be my first Ray Dunn piece. <laughs> I know nothing about it except for the the font. That's how I spotted it. Let's see what else we got. Hmm. Ooh, that's a pretty plate. What are you? Um, I cannot read that. Just wash for safe though. It's really pretty. I don't think I'm gonna get it though. Well, this guy's cute. He's quite damaged though. So this was here the last time I was here and one of my subscribers, the one who actually won the giveaway, reached out to me and asked me to pick this up. And I was skeptical that it would still be here, but it is. So I am going to grab this and ship it off to her. Look at this guy. That is too cute. Hmm. I think I'll leave it, but that's really cute. Well, that was a bust. I attempted to go into the outlet store, but it was very crowded. Most of the bins were full of people, not of necessarily stuff. Um, what few I did look through, there weren't very many good items. It was a lot of Forever 21. Gap, that kind of stuff. So I didn't get anything. I looked through like the glasses and the plates and the furniture area, also a bus, nothing there. So the outlet store and the bins were a no-go. <laughs> um, probably won't come back here for quite a while, give them time to clear all of that out and get some new stuff in. Um, 
So yeah, maybe next time we come, we'll have better luck.